Hey, how are you guys doing? I'm Kent Tilly, and today I want to talk to you guys about how I believe that, uh, you know, a couple that both worked and had good careers can fairly easily retire with about $300,000 at the age of 65. And, and how I want to explain that is uh, <clears throat> by talking about what I see most people sort of needing and wanting in retirement. And generally speaking, when I talk to couples, I say, you know, how much money would you want after tax in order to live the lifestyle that you want in retirement? And usually I see a number somewhere in between four and 6,000. Some people spend less, some people want to spend a little bit more, but, but the majority of people sort of fall in that four to $6,000 a month range if they're in a couple. Because if you don't have a mortgage anymore, you've just got sort of the bills that you need to pay, that's actually not a bad income to have to, to enjoy a fairly good lifestyle have some extra savings and whatever. And I understand that, you know, things can happen, you want to spend more money, but within that range of, of say 5,000. So what I'm going to talk about here is how a couple that both worked can, can easily generate, you know, $4,600 a month after tax in retirement with just about $300,000 if they retire at 65. And it's, you know, honestly very simple, but I don't see why any financial planner would actually ever talk about this. So you've probably never heard this before because this means that we would potentially make zero money because you're not going to be investing anything after the age of 65. And what I would suggest is that all you have to do is have this amount of money and use your RSP and your TFSA to fund that, you know, $4,500 a month that you need between the two of you, between 65 and 70 years old, allowing yourself to delay taking CPP and OAS and getting that increased, enhanced, you know, government benefit from the pension plan. Because if you both have full CPP, and you delay from 65 until 70, then that is going to pay you each $1,780 per month. Plus, if you delay OAS from 65 until 70, then that is going to pay you approximately $850 a month. So now you each have a before tax income of $2,630 per month, which works out to around $31,500 per year. Depending on the province you live in, your taxes on that are generally gonna be, you know, three or 4,000. So depending on the province, you're probably each left with $27,500 after tax, which works out to $2,300 a month each. So if you double that, you now you have $4,600 com combined after tax and the only thing that you needed to do was fund your retirement from 65 until 70 and not worry about having any money left over to actually do the rest and if you have your home paid for then your house can actually be that thing that you know gives an estate to your children or whatever or can be used if you have to move into a long-term care home and you say okay we need to sell this asset, which is probably worth an awful lot of money right now to actually do this. So by just taking your retirement money and the nest egg that you've built up and doing this, you would, would need $130,000 each in a TFSA to actually fund this or roughly maybe $170,000 in, in each RSP to actually fund this. So it, it doesn't take a million dollars to have a comfortable retirement. It doesn't take that much. What it takes is, you know, a little bit of savings, a little bit of planning, enhancing your benefits if it makes sense for you, and uh, just going about it that way. Honestly, honestly, I mean, you know, when you get into later years of retirement, 
even $4,600 a month index to inflation, so that's today's dollars always, is an awful lot of money in your late 70s, you know, early 80s. I mean, who, what are people in their early 80s doing other than reading books and watching Murder, She Wrote or whatever, or Jeopardy or something like that? It doesn't cost that much to do the things you want. You just go for walks and hang out with your grandchildren and do whatever. And, you know, the only time you spend money is at Christmas, basically. So you might actually be saving money at the end of the day is all I'm kind of trying to say. Um, <clears throat> if that makes some sense to some of you, good. If it makes zero sense to others, that's totally fine. But the point being is that, you know, I'm, I'm going to do a video on this lady right away uh, that I talked to this week and she was very terrified about the idea that she was not able to retire and she's 67 years old because she had been fed a bunch of lies about the idea that you know she needed way more money than she had to actually have a comfortable retirement and when I looked at everything I was like you can easily live off of more money than you make today throughout your entire retirement and she doesn't have a crazy amount of money saved. Uh, she has been good with her money, you know, her whole life. And my suggestion to anybody in that case is that if you were good with your money your whole life, you're good at actually budgeting, you were careful about money, you have done some saving, I almost guarantee that you are in a position to be able to retire when you want to be. And you just need to talk to somebody that can tell you, okay, it's going to be fine, even though the market's dropping and it's scary times right now, she still has way more than enough to be able to actually retire. And I think there's a lot of people out there that, you know, just need that reassurance sometimes. And honestly, those are my absolute favorite clients to get and my favorite conversations to have. It's not uh, telling a rich person that, yes, you're fine. I mean, that's great. And, and I think it's encouraging to hear stories about people that have done really well in their careers and investing and things like that. But I mean, there's no sort of magic that I can do to have these conversations with people that have way too much money and they're never going to fail in retirement. The ones that mean the most to me are the ones that are scared and they actually just need a little bit of help to figure things out and understand what's happening and then they know that they're going to be okay and when that happens I love it um, and so you know I, I know it's a stressful time out there but sometimes you might just need to have a different conversation with somebody that looks at it a little bit differently and, and tell you you know that you're gonna be fine and I think that's all that we want to hear right now because it's it is that way, right? And, and not everybody is going to be fine. Um, that's just the case. But, uh, but hopefully you are. And thanks again for watching. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. And we'll chat with you soon.